Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from 2018 from Miss Sophie, and the title is, Are You Ready? The Battle Will Be Fierce. My daughter, write these words down. Tensions are rising. Tempers are flaring. Do you sense the change in the atmosphere as evil rises? You children have no idea what they have planned for your demise. They can barely contain their excitement, believing they will kill or enslave every last one of you. Satan has done a masterful work in these people. They truly believe they will control the world. They forgot one most important factor, and that, and it is that I, the greatest of the great, and strongest of the strong, the great I am, will finish them off, and they will burn in the deepest parts of hell. I speak of the unredeemable ones. Much is taking place now in Israel. This is your marker, as I have stated before. War is heating up, and I am is a mighty warrior, and I will aid my chosen. But Israel will suffer a severe and major blow, regardless for all their disobedience, idolatry, and abominations. Many will die, but they will overcome the enemy forces, and my mighty angels will be victorious in this battle. You are on the throngs of good versus evil in these end times. But mind you, Satan has his time. And evil will appear to be winning on all fronts, but in the end, the victory is mine. The victory will also be yours if you prevail to the end. Are you seeing the escalation of random acts of violence, civil unrest, anti-Semitism rising, hatred between Christian brothers and sisters increasing, persecution coming, and fear-gripping people. With this will come weather catastrophes causing food shortages and many things once available you will soon no longer have. A major event will trigger an economic crash followed by a total collapse. Do you see how America is falling quickly? Do you see how fast other nations are experiencing major downturns, upheavals, riots, flooding, burning? So tell me, children, how great does everything look to you now? There will be much sorrow and the laughter silenced, mockers and scoffers' voices silenced as they wail and mourn. God is not mocked. When I said judgment is coming, I meant judgment is coming. Cushy lifestyles, ending soon. People running for their lives. Houses raided for food. Roundups. FEMA camps filling up. Had you listened, not mocked me, not tested me, prayed, repented as a nation, I would have protected you even though you are a wicked generation. I no longer protect you, America. You are too weak to overcome the invasions. I was the strength of your military, the one that gave you that power. Do you see how many mishaps happen with your armed vehicles, ships, helicopters, planes, you are weak and you will not overcome any nation that comes against you. I have made you powerless. A cursed nation will not stand, cannot win, will not prevail over opposing forces. A cursed nation always goes to its destruction. Your beauty is fading soon to be seen no longer. Tell me, children. What will you do? Laugh? Mock? Scoff? Deny truth? Keep playing with your sins, thinking all is well? 
America is not well, a spiritual sickness that is terminal. Sins this deep cannot be healed, but must be removed by purging and a total cleansing by my hand. I will cleanse by destroying what once was a blessing to all other nations. My warning is this. You have very little time left. You will not recognize America. Soon you will look like every other war-torn, ravished, and plundered nation before you. My warnings went unnoticed. I am is forgotten and old news by most. Out with the old, in with the new, your new king drools over how easy it will be to finish you off. You loved him then, and you will love him now. While he spoon-feeds you lies and deceives you, he mocks you now behind closed doors. He is soon to arise to power and take his place. Even though you have tossed me to the wind, thrown me aside, I will have my last great harvest of souls, for many will repent and lament in the darkest days of their lives. It is my mercy and my love for man that I desire to save and none to perish. Many shall perish along with their pride and for their disobedience. Those who are truly mine, rejoice, arise, for your light is about to shine for all to see as you bring them to me. Light shines brightest always during the darkest days. I am is calling all my children whom I have chosen to go forth, even now reaching out to the forgotten, forlorn, the stranger. Show my love, but keep yourself clean. Speak my truth now to any and all who will listen. My remnant, you will do great exploits in my name. You know who you are. Are you ready to carry out your assignments? You will do my will. I am is in front of you and behind you at all times. Fear has no place in you. I am with you. It will be my power that will carry you through. Some will come home sooner. Others will be here longer. Some of you will be martyred. I will be with you. Stand on my word. And if you do not deny me before men, you will be with me in my kingdom. Many rewards await you. To the wicked, mocker, scoffer, repent now. You never know when I am coming. There will be much death. Only I know the day and hour you leave. This is for all. This is all for now, children. Pray like never before. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for your loved ones. Intercede for those who have no one praying for them. Pray for those who persecute you and curse you as you go through these trying times like never before. Bless them, and I will bless you. Your treasure is stored in heaven each time you pray for those who have come against you. Remember, do not deny me when they bring you before their judges, or I will deny you before my Father. Stand until the end. Those who endure until the end shall be saved. I am your strength. I am your strong tower. I am your fortress. I am your calm in the storm. I am the lover of your soul. I am everything you need. I am mighty in battle. I will be with all who will stand with me. Are you ready? The battle will be fierce. Yahushua HaMashiach, your Savior, your warrior king. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. 
and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.